That's the sound of money. A lot of money. And whether you're a fan or a foe of marijuana, we're going to try to get a handle on how much money marijuana brings into our little county each year. Millions and millions, if not billions. At least uh, close to 50% of our income here. That's going to equate to close to a billion dollars within the county. 10 to 20 percent or or, or higher. At least 80 percent of the people in Southern Humboldt are involved somehow. Down here, it's the only economy keeping all of these businesses open. But we really just, we just don't know um, how big it is. This is the Humboldt Chronicles. Dispatches from marijuana country. I'm Kim Kemp with Chuck Rogers. We'll be talking to an economist. What if marijuana were to go away completely in Humboldt County? Without a doubt, that would be very noticeable, extremely noticeable. A businesswoman. I don't think a caliber restaurant like we have um, would be able to survive in a town like Garberville if we did not have the marijuana industry money coming in. And a banker. It comes up to $420 million. And again, that's just specific to indoor. And, of course, a grower. The early 90s, it was a lot of money. Duffel bags full of money. And it comes in so fast. We'll go with them out into the great unknown and try and get some sense of the dollar amounts involved. We're going to talk about the anatomy of a price crash and how Prop 19 affected this economy. This is The Humble Chronicles, dispatches from marijuana country. <laughs> 